Welcome back everyone. So in today's video, we're going to talk about how to calculate color contrast ratio. But before that, we'll just have a quick overview of what color contrast ratio is all about. So if you're into designing or front end development, then you might have come across this term called accessibility or to be precise, web content accessibility guidelines in short WCAG. Well, that is nothing but a set of guidelines put forward by W3C or World Wide Web Consortium which basically develops web standards such as HTML, CSS, etc. These guidelines help make the web accessible to people with disabilities. So coming back to the topic, color contrast is one of those important guidelines which make sure that people who cannot see certain colors or who do not see colors at all are able to normally use any website. So let's quickly understand with an example why poor color contrast leads to a bad user experience for these people. To demonstrate this, we will be using this amazing color blindness simulator tool by TopTal. Just enter the URL of any content on the internet and it will simulate how a colorblind person would see it. So in this example, on the left is what a person with normal vision would see and on the right is what a person with color blindness would see. There are various type of color blindness that you can simulate using these filters. So if we choose the extreme type where a person cannot see colors at all, you can notice that the later age is hardly visible which is an indication of poor color contrast. So that is the reason we have to make sure to use proper color contrast for which WCAG has set some minimum ratios as a criteria to pass the web accessibility guidelines. Among which we have a lot of categories like WCAG AA, AAA, interface components and many more. So that is again a vast topic to cover which I can make another video if you guys are interested do let me know in the comments below. So finally, let's have a look at how to calculate the color contrast ratio. Color contrast is calculated using relative luminance, which according to w3.org is defined as the relative brightness of any point in color space, normalized to zero for the darkest black and one for the lightest white. So in simple terms, as you can see here, the darkest black, which is nothing but the hex code 000000, has a relative luminance of zero, which goes up to one for the brightest white that is hex code triple F triple F. And this pretty much applies to any color on the color wheel. If we take an example of red and sample out colors from this, the relative luminance values are gonna look something like this, which again starts from zero and ends at one. And as you can see, calculating relative luminance value involves a lot of math, which we will not be getting into else this video would get boring. However, here is a cool tool called contrast ratio where you can just enter in the hex code and it'll tell you the relative luminance value. So now that we have the relative luminance, all we have to do is apply the color contrast formula that is L1 plus 0.05 divided by L2 plus 0.05 of which L1 is the luminance of the lighter color and L2 is the luminance of the darker color. So let's just end this video with a quick example. A blue text on a white background. Here white is the lighter color with the luminance of 1 and blue is the darker color with the luminance of 0.0722. Now applying these values to the formula, you end up getting 8.59 which makes the color contrast ratio 8.59 is to 1 which is way above the minimum standards of WCAG and that is why it passes all the criteria shown here. That's it for this video guys. I hope you found it helpful and informative. And as always, if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to click the bell icon. Thanks for watching.